hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and in today's video, I'm basically going to be doing my makeup routine. I've had so many requests for this. Um, people always message me all the time and ask me how I do my makeup. Obviously, I'm not a makeup pro, um, so don't kill me if I don't do things the way I should be doing or the way that you guys would like me to do it. But feel free to like tell me in the comments if you feel like there's something that I should try or like different techniques etc I'm always down to learn but before I get started and jump into it I basically just got delivered um this huge super drug delivery um so I'm so excited I literally ordered over a hundred pounds worth of stuff because I never ever go into super drug and spend more than let's say like 40 pounds but you know when you just run out of everything that's happened to me I've literally run out of everything and I was just like I need a restock so I'll go through I literally ordered it like 10 days ago so I can't even remember what it was that I ordered so we will see and I'll show you but um I'm gonna try a lot of the products from this obviously the packaging has been left out um so it should be clean but I'm gonna show you the products and then wash my hands because I'm gonna be touching my face to do my makeup so yeah I will also link all the products that I got down below as well as all the products that I'll use on my face during my routine. First up, I'm so excited to see this because I've run out of primer for ages and it's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is what it looks like. It's still got like the thing that I need to pull off and am I the only one who absolutely hates pulling this plastic thing off? Like it can never come off or you break your nails whilst doing it. No, I can't. I can't even. I just don't have the patience to deal with that today. But I'm going to get someone to take that off for me. I've accidentally ordered two. One of them doesn't have a lid. But I've got the matte finish um, NYX setting spray. So now I've got two. I don't know how I ended up with two in my basket. But oh well, better to have more. Um, I've actually used this before. And I really like this. I feel like, like it says on the tin, it gives you like a matte finish. I don't like the ones that give you like a dewy look at the end so um like i have really really shiny skin so if i have any like dewy kind of products i'll just look like a grease ball after about two hours which is not a look for me it's not cute no one's gonna be shopping that look no one's gonna be looking at me thinking she looks cute so you know yeah by the way guys i know my nails look awful i took off my like shellac and then only took it half off and then I was meant to take it off and redo my nails but look how on the plus side look how long my nails have gone so I'm happy about that but I need to redo my nails so please forgive me next I have the Bondi Sand Tan in Ultra Dark so this is the um, self tanning foam I have the tanning mitt as well and I've used this before and I absolutely love it I think this is like my fourth bottle of this it's so good it gives me such a nice color tan I'll insert a photo of me with this tan on everyone was commenting underneath or like DMing me like have you been out in the sun like what tan have you used and it's literally just this um so i really really like it if you want a darker like this isn't ultra dark but if you're like me and you want to be like proper proper bronzy you can put on one layer and then wait half an hour and put on another layer or sleep in it and that really helps as well so the long the longer it stays on the better and then again another thing that i love that i think is the perfect dupe for the anastasia beverly hills brow wears is the nyx um, micro brow pencil I get mine in the shade chocolate I think it's like dark like if you have dark brown hair like me then it's like the perfect shade but literally oh, can I open this you guys will see when I start doing my makeup but literally it's like a pen that twists out it's a pen like this it's got a spoolie on one end and it has got the pencil on the other end like this and you literally just draw like with like fine strokes your eyebrows so if you want to give like that micro braided or like micro bladed like perfectionist look then this is really good for it oh next comes the bubble wrap am i the only one who loves squeezing bubble wrap <laughs> okay so in here oh yeah so i wanted to try the maybelline i really wanted to try this the maybelline superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation so i really want something that's like long wear and durable and i just thought why, why not try like a maybelline one and this one had really good ratings on the website there was like over a thousand ratings and it was almost five star so yeah i thought that was really good i don't know about the shade though like guessing your shade on the internet should be illegal like they should make some sort of app that like you scan your face and then it scans and tells you like what shade then again like what if you're in the sunlight and it's a different shade to like if you're in your bedroom mm. food for thought someone please invent that app but yeah i don't even know what color this is 
show you this with foundation. It says 16T100 on the back, but I just feel like that's not the colour. Oh, 21 Nude Beige. 21 Nude Beige. So we'll see. I'll try it on and we'll see if we like it or not. Next, I have another e.l.f. product. This is the Full Coverage Satin um, Camo Concealer. So excited about this because I've seen loads of people who do their makeup on Instagram use this. And like, I just love watching Instagram makeup videos where they just do their makeup so perfectly in like a, in like a minute. Obviously it's not a minute, obviously I know that. But um, I just thought this was so, like, it looks so easy to apply and the brush looked really big, which is what I love. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Such a thick brush. I just hope the formula is nice because basically I thought the Maybelline Anti-Age Erase was my holy grail. I was using it for like the past four, four or five years, I would easily say. I've been loving it. My cousin Nico introduced me to it. He also introduced me to NARS Custard. But yeah, I realized it made my skin like really greasy in my T-zone area. So I was like, is it the concealer that I'm using? So I'm going to try and switch it out with this one. And plus I just wanted to try this anyway. And this is in the shade Light Beige. So I think this is good for like contouring. But we will see when I do my makeup. And now I've got some more Maybelline products. I've got another foundation. So Sol has this foundation too. But I've got it in a shade much lighter than hers. Hers is like 220 something. Mine is in 118. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, it's matte and poreless. So it's basically meant to be for oily skin. Haven't tried it out. I will try it out. But probably not today. I want to try the other one today. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted about this. But I thought it was a really good price. I think it was like 7 or £8. Pounds, and it reminded me of the packaging of the NYX matte stay matte but not flat which is like discontinued i think now because i can't find it anywhere so maybe this is like the maybelline answer to it don't know but we'll find out then i've got another concealer this one is the maybelline fit me i found in my drawers this exact maybelline fit me concealer but in the shade like 220 something which is definitely too dark for me um but it was really good so I was like, let me just repurchase it in a lighter colour and this can be like either to correct like any uh, little spots I have or I can just use it under my eyes, etc. So you will be seeing me use this because I really like the formula. And then the last kind of face product, I think, oh no, it's not the last face product, I won't make promises, but I think it's the last Maybelline product, is Maybelline Fit Me Again range. Um, and this is the matte um, and poreless powder in the shade Porcelain. So let me open this up. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. So when you open this, yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't know why I said that so like technically, like we were gonna get some magic coming out of it. But this is what it looks like when you open it. And I basically, oh, it flips up. So it flips up and it's got like a little pancake thing underneath it, which is cool to have. And um, I'm going to basically use this for like under my eyes. So not like baking, but after I've done my concealer, I kind of want to set with this. So we'll see if I put it in the right shade. It might be too light, but like I said, predicting your shades on the internet should be illegal. I feel like let's make a little debate about it in the comments. Let's make a little link and um, what's it called? Like a petition. Let's make a petition because it's not fair. It honestly isn't. You guys, my eye makeup has been suffering, suffering, okay? I have run out of liquid eyeliner. Like, it's literally like, you know when you shake it and you're like, oh my God, it's not coming out. What am I gonna do? So I got a new one and, oh my God, the lid looks like it was slightly open. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, wow. So this is the Wonder Ink Eyeliner by Rimmel London. Oh my God, this is literally like the Lancome one that I use. Look at that. I wonder if it dries. Oh, it's dried fast as well. Love that. The Lancome one I use is like 20 pounds and I think this one's like five or six pounds, so already liking uses and the other reason why my eyes were suffering was because i also dried out my mascaras i had like three and they were all dry and my sister always uses my mascara which is awful don't share makeup but hers ran out and she pumps the mascara and it makes the mascara so dry i hate when people pump mascara it doesn't need pumping just pull it out you know job done but again, this crappy seal I have to open. Ugh, I can't open this. This is again a job for someone else. So the last three things I have are again skin kind of stuff. So this is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So this is new. I've never tried it before. At least I think it's new. Um, and it had really good reviews. I saw someone like talk about it on YouTube I think as well. How does it come out? Um, and it's meant to like really blur your pores out. So I feel like I could use this underneath any other primer I use as like a t-zone blurrer so it looks like this and then i'm going to open the packaging and it's like a little 
I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like a lip balm. It looks like a lip balm. I'm not gonna touch it now because I want to go and wash my hands because I've been touching all this packaging, but I'll touch it afterwards when I'm doing my makeup on my face. Then I got another NYX bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. It is the Matte Bronzer in shade Medium, MBB03. I love this shade. I feel like this bronzer is the type that doesn't split and separate on your skin. I feel like sometimes when you put powder on top of your foundation, some powders like separate and it just sits so awfully. And this is the only one I found that doesn't do that. Um, I know a lot of people like the Hoola bronzer because they think it doesn't do that. I've used Hoola and I like it. I just don't see the huge fuss to it. You know what I mean? Like, like I just don't know like what the huge hype is over Hoola. Maybe I've got it wrong. Let me know in the comments because to be fair, I tried it like many moons ago. So yeah, for now, this one is the one that I love. And then the last kind of skin makeup product I have is this spray. It's brand new. I've never like never tried it before. And it's the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Fa um, Face Mist. So it's meant to work for up to eight hours and it's like a multitasking spray, which I think is really cool. I don't have one of these at all. I feel like I'm going to be using this more in the like the hot weather and like on sunny days because you can basically spray this after like a couple of hours of your makeup and just refresh it. So I feel like it's like almost an answer to Max um, Fix Plus, but I don't know. I have to try it and let you guys know, but I'm excited to use it. We see the first few squirts came out weird, but okay, it just smells like it doesn't smell nice. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell nice, so we'll see. So this is what it looks like up close. And then the last item in my box is these super drug cotton buds. I don't know about you guys, but I always use these so for micellar water or to use to get like toner on my face, etc. These are like the pads. And I like the pad ones more, more than like just regular cotton wool because I feel like regular cotton wool gets messy. Um, so yeah, I use these cotton pads. Nothing fancy. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands and I will be right back to show you guys how I do my makeup. So I always have to tie back my hair because if it gets in the way of my makeup, it really, really frustrates me. By the way, my mirror is here. So if I like look away, I'm really sorry. I can't help it. I just need to see that everything looks okay because this camera's quite small but yeah uh so i always moisturize my face first i've already done that um so i've just tied back my hair um but i always use the keels um i've forgotten what it's called is it the i don't know i literally always use this face cream and i don't know what it's called and it's like from a special range i don't know you guys will see a picture of it on the screen because i can't bother to get it from behind me but um that is the moisturizer that i use and now i'm going to go in with my favorite primer like i showed you guys it's the elf poreless face primer and i just get a little brush and I brush it on my face with this. So I, the reason why I absolutely love this one, look, this is what it looks like when it comes out, is because it feels on your skin like really smooth and silky and it smells like a beauty spa. Like when you, you know when you go to a beauty spa and like you get like your like beauty treatments done, like this is literally the smell that it gives and it just makes me feel like I'm just getting like a nice treatment done. I don't know why. Um, it smells really good and it really, really like stops your makeup from soaking like into your pores, I find. So I really like it. Plus, cheap and cheerful. I think it's like five pounds. I don't know. But um, it's definitely under 10 pounds. And I used to use the Too Faced one, um, which was like in the 20 pound region. And that was, you know, quite a lot more expensive. So it's nice to use something that's more affordable. Pretty much everything I'm using in this makeup routine is high street apart from i think lipstick and eyeshadow palette and contour most of it's like should be affordable next i'm going to go in with the matte putty primer i've never used this before but um i'm so excited okay it doesn't smell of anything i don't know why i sniff everything does anyone else do that so i'm just gonna rub my fingers into it like this and it's come off like that and i'm just gonna dab it where i get really really oily I don't know how I feel about this. It feels really weird. It feels like quite silicone-y. I feel like my sister Sol loves silicone-y primers and I feel like she would love this, but for me, this is feeling quite silicone-y. So that's like now with it all primed. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it has blurred out my pores. Looking in the mirror, I do feel like my pores look quite blurred out, which is good. 
Um, but yeah, next step I'm gonna conceal. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fits Me and this was in the shade whatever I said it was. Gosh, how am I meant to open something and now that my hands are like full of primer? You guys can't see but I'm actually opening it with my top. Skills, skills. Okay, so I'm literally just putting this on my like little, let's call them imperfections, um, which is like a sassy way of saying spots. Um, yeah, I'm putting it on my spots or where I've had spots and the scars are just still going down. Um, so I look like this. I look like a bit of a game of dot to dot. I'm going to put a little bit under my eyes, just the tiniest bit. Um, and then I'm going to dab that all in with my damp beauty blender. I've already dampened this. If you feel like this doesn't look like it's been washed, I've washed it four times with shampoo. This is what happens when your sister is called Sina and she uses your beauty blender. It's just like, you know, what's that called? Like a side effect of having her as your sister. She literally like kills all beauty blenders. I don't know why. I don't even know how she does it. That's that. And now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So today I'm trying a Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage. This is what it looks like. And it is in shade 21 Nude Beige. Why is nothing opening today? Okay, got it. And I'm just putting that onto my beauty blender. I put four dots on my beauty blender like this and then I dab it on my face. And then I just dab it all in. Wow, okay, this is way too light for me. Can you guys see how light it is? Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's my exact skin shade. It's just I like to go a bit darker with my foundation. Well, oh well, it's not bad. It's just like, it's making me look the paleness that I am and I'm just not feeling this whole pale vibe that I've got going for me recently. So, forgive me there. I think if I use that fake tan that I got, there's no way I could use this. So, this is the foundation fully on my face. Um, I've basically just done one layer. I don't feel like I need more. But looking in the mirror, I kind of like it. I feel like it's quite on the cakier side. So if you guys don't mind having a bit of a cakier look, I can't tell if it's this or the second primer that I put on that's making it a bit look a bit more cakey. But it might be the foundation. But I like it. Like it's definitely given me an even skin tone. I, I will give you that. Um, so, so far, so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Um, camo concealer, and this is in the shade Light Beige, and I'm gonna use this to highlight my face. Ugh, I just love how thick this brush is. Look at that, like just so much more surface area can be covered. Okay. This has blended in like a dream. I'm not even lying to you guys. The shade is perfect for me, if you guys are like my shade of skin. Um, the shade is really nice and it's blended in like a dream. <gasps> I love. Ugh. I wasn't expecting this at all, guys. Wow. Okay, like out of the new stuff I've tried today, this one is by far my favourite. Get this. I don't know how much it is, like five, six pounds. Get it. You're not going to regret it. Trust me. This. It's a little eyelash. This is blending like a dream. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love it when something looks good on me. What happens this is why I don't film get ready with me because like then I'm talking by myself and then I just get carried away this is what you get this is what you get okay next I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty contour stick freaking love this love this to a T this is in the shade truffle so that's the shade on the back um so I wouldn't recommend this as a foundation in my opinion it feels way too thick to be a foundation all over your face and I think it was made as foundation sticks but then like, was it then marketed as contour sticks? I'm not sure. I don't know what the tea is there. Because I know that they have the Fenty foundation as well. But, um, yeah, this is not good for a whole foundation. I know Anastasia did sticks that I love. Um, they discontinued them. But they, they basically marketed those as foundation sticks. And everyone started using them as contour sticks. So I feel like this is kind of like a dupe of that. But, yeah, I just do, like, the sides of my 
cheek like that under my lip and my forehead and then i just do a little bit in my forehead and always make sure with your forehead that you blend upwards into your hairline so that you don't get that difference in shade um and then i just recently because of sina have started doing the tiniest bit on my jawline and then my nose i can't draw it on when i'm looking at this camera i have to look it in the mirror and then i'm just going to go back in and do the middle of my nose because i feel like i've ruined it a bit. okay so now i'm gonna blend this all in with my little brush thing by the way guys um this angled real techniques brush this angled one and i'm just gonna pull this down so i go from the top of my ear to like towards my mouth and that's like how i draw out the line of my contour and the same on this side i feel like i've done more contour yeah i'm gonna need to do a bit more on this side it's so funny it's magnetic and it's connected to my ear oh that hurts ow do you see what I mean? Like it kind of makes you forget the blob that, but it kind of makes you just like, mmm. I always blend out my forehead, I don't know why. Like first. Obviously I always blend it out, but you know what I mean? I always blend it out first. I think it just, I don't know, sets the tone for the rest of your face. <laughs> if this doesn't look good, the rest of it ain't looking good. Um, so yeah. And then I'm going to do the rest. Oh my god, why is there a hair here? Okay. And then I literally blend this upwards. I always draw my contour line from the top of my ear to my towards my lip. Like that's like the line that I use to follow. Um, because I feel like it gives you like that raised cheekbone look. And I don't know why I always push my ear back. Like I pull the skin, like keep it taut. I don't know why. Like I've got like sagging skin at the age of 24, but hey ho, it is what it is. I've blended down that contour thing, and then I use this like more narrow brush to blend my contour, nose contour in, in my nose. And then we're done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, then I use my beauty blender, the sharper end, and I just dab in the product into my nose. It's almost weird because it's like you want there to be lines so your nose looks contoured, but you don't want it to be obvious that there's lines so people can't tell that it's contoured. It's like, why so much effort? But yeah, it is what it is when I do what I do. So this is about as much as I burn my nose contour in. By the way guys, the reason why I wanted to do this makeup in natural light is because I hate watching makeup tutorials where they do it in studio light and it's like, I don't look like at myself in studio lights often like I look at myself in natural light like I used to do makeup videos with like ring lights and it's like but really once you switch off the ring light you looked awful so yeah I prefer doing it in natural light so I hope that it's okay with you guys that it's like changing in the background but it's just to keep it real with you speaking of keeping it real here is my two um, Shilu's powder. So one of them is the Laura Mercier's translucent powder and the other one is the Collections Shilu's powder. So this one's a drugstore and it's like under five pounds and this one is like designer kind of makeup and it's about 30 pounds. So when I'm quarantining at home, no one's going to see me. Am I going to go and use the Laura Mercier one? No. It doesn't last longer than this one. Yes. Does it have a nicer finish to it? Slightly, yes. But this one does the job pretty much just as well. It just doesn't last as long, so you need to keep reapplying with this one. So I use this one when I'm at home, but when I am um, obviously on a regular day out and about, I use this one, and it's the Laura Mercier. So for this video, I will show you guys the collection one. I just remembered there's something I wanted to do before that. So before I do that, I'm gonna, grabbing the new powder that I got, the... Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in shade 110 Porcelain. And what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna take this powder and I'm gonna like dab it with this 105 Luxe Highlight Brush by Zoeva. And I just dab it under my eyes. And like, I pretty much just bake the area. Not bake. I don't know what the word is for it, but like set, that's it. I like set what I've already done. And this is like an extra step, and I used to take this extra step, but then I ran out of the powder that I used to use to take this extra step, so I just stopped taking it. So does it make all the difference to your makeup? I think it makes a worthy enough difference to make an appearance into my routine. Um, so I do recommend it, but if you don't have, like it's not the end of the world. 
but I do like it. Like it just gives you that like really powdered and matte finish look. So if you guys like a powdered and matte finish look, this is what I use. I also like it to go underneath my contour line. I mainly fix my contour line with my sheer loose powder that you guys will see. Oh my God, it's like fluff on my nose. And then yeah, my forehead. That's pretty much all that I use that powder for. Then I grab the sheer loose powder and shake it. So this is what this sheer loose powder looks like. And this is what the Laura Mercier one looks like. So the Laura Mercier one's a bit finer, which is probably why it lasts longer because it like sets into your pores much easier. But I'm going in with this one from Collection and I dabbed my Beauty Blender into it and I'm just going under my eyes and I go upwards. So like on, it kind of sits on top of my contour and to the side of my nose like that. You know what I hate about this? I'm wearing an all black like outfit, like black trackies look and it's just gonna, it is literally gonna get shoes powder all over it but oh well. So that's how I carve like the underneath like of my contour to give you like that straight cheek row look is I just take the edge of this and I just draw a straight line. Don't worry if you feel like it looks like your contour disappeared because I go back over it. And I dab a little bit on my forehead and RIP to my tracksuit bottoms, look at that. Look at that. Next I'm gonna do like a little bit of eyeshadow, like nothing too smoky, but I'm using the Christmas in New York, you, bleh. I'm using the Christmas in New York palette by Too Faced and I just use like this toffee crunch in my crease um, and chocoholic kind of all over my lid. So these are the two shades I'm going in with. So I'm gonna put the chocoholic all over my lid first. Like that much. And then I get this toffee crunch and I literally just take it from the corner of my eye over into the crease with the same kind of, this is like a very fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I got like all these brushes in a set when I like first started doing YouTube. I remember I really got into makeup and um, I got the brush set, so I love it. So I literally just start in my like edge of my eye, like making like a little bally crease and then making a little ball and then like pulling it over into my crease like that. And like, I'm happy with that. I think that that's as much eyeshadow as I need for a, like a kind of comfortable daytime look. And then I'm gonna brush off this powder because I don't want it to like be too dry. So I've just got this powder brush. It's from Real Techniques. So yeah, I've got this like very matte finish on my skin right now. Then I'm gonna draw my eyeliner. So my trick for eyeliner, I kind of go like from the edge of my eye, like a straight line. Yeah, and then the middle of my eye, I draw a straight line and I like try and connect the two. And then I just fill in, fill it in. Guys, this eyeliner is like this, is incredible. It's the one I showed you at the start, the Wonder Ink, and I got it in black from Rimmel. Okay, so that's how I do like my kind of simple everyday um, daytime eyeliner. For nighttime, it's completely different. So if you guys wanna see like my nighttime look, it's mainly like my eyes and how bronzy my look is that changes, um, but the base always stays the same. So now I'm just gonna match this eyeliner and then I'll come back on camera. So that is as good as I'm gonna get my eyeliner. Then I'm going in with the NYX eyebrow pencil and I'm basically just gonna brush up my brows with the spoolie and then I'm gonna draw a line underneath my brows because my brows are pretty straight. My mum threaded them for me like last week. So they're in a pretty good shape right now. And I'm just gonna draw a line straight underneath. I know a lot of people love to do like their eyeliner sorry they love to do their eyebrows first but like my eyebrows like i pretty much just follow the shape of my actual eyebrows anyway so i don't need to do them first necessarily so look at that that's basically just me outlining the shape of my brows and then the rest of it i will just fill in with fine like brush strokes keep the brush stroke like stroke look then it will keep your eyebrows having like this this microbladed, why can't I say microbladed? It'll give your eye, eyebrows this microbladed look. I'm just gonna do the same on this side. So that is my eyebrows filled in. And next I kind of need to warm up my face. So I'm going in with the bronzer that I showed you guys, the matte bronzer in medium by NYX, but I've still got a little bit left in, 
and this my old one so i'm just going to use that you know it's good when you've hit pan you know what i mean so i just bronze on top of where i've contoured but i need to like really warm my face up because all the powder really like almost like gets rid of your contour like it just leaves it literally contoured it doesn't leave your face warm whereas sometimes i do it and like my contour is like enough without the bronzer but um yeah if, i think like if you really want a matte look then a lot of your contour lines will get like kind of lost underneath your powder so you just have to bronze your face up with bronzer then i'm gonna do one coat of mascara and this is the scandalized reloaded by rimmel and i just brush from underneath my eyebrow uh, underneath my eyelashes and twirl the brush as i'm pulling up so like this that's the motion that i do so that's one coat from underneath and then i do one coat from on top as well i kind of just brush it back and forth and that really helps to make your eyelashes look longer make sure you try and separate it whilst your eyelashes are still wet because otherwise they just all clump together and it's not cute so that's two coats of mascara and then back in with this palette i'm just gonna put the darker shade again under my lash line so i am gonna use like a finer tip brush for this this is the zoeva luxe pencil brush and i literally just go underneath my eyes right underneath my eyelashes and then this sets it so that i can put the mascara um because otherwise i feel like your under eyes look too pale if you don't put anything underneath it so i love just putting a little bit of eyeshadow from the same color in the, sh in the crease then this is my favorite blush ever like i want to buy it separately it is the chocolate covered strawberry blush by Too faced and i just dab that in on this old brush that i also love i don't know why i love it i think because it's so rough I've never done blush with my left hand, this is weird. Kind of bring it up to the size of my nose and it just gives you this really cute look. Loves it! Um, and then lastly, I'm just gonna do my lips. So I love the NYX lip liners, all the nude ones, I pretty much have them, so a lot of you guys always ask me. So today I'm using London. Um, it's really short and tiny, but don't worry, I have loads of these really small Londons for some reason. Um, so I'm just gonna line around my lips. I definitely overline my lips, so look at the difference, kind of. That's just how I like it. Um, there are loads of people who don't like it, so just line as much as you like, but I like to overline. So that's how I line them. And then I grab this, oh, I've literally become so obsessed with this, it's the Too Faced um, Taffy Lipstick, and it's like in this pinky color. And I just put that all over my lips. And I rub it in. I forgot to rub my contour in under my lips. It's gonna be hard now. And then lastly, using this inner light highlighter from the same palette, I literally just do the ends of my nose. The ends, just the end of my nose, the bridge of my nose, like at the top and under my eyebrow and voila this is how i do my makeup you can finish it off with a setting spray if you're not sitting at home then um you can set it i'm just going to switch it for you guys anyway so you guys can see and then just fan it so that it dries faster oh my god i forgot to do mascara on my bottom lashes let me just do them now really subtle anyway you won't tell the difference but yeah that is i promise it's the end of my look um yeah this is the end of it this is literally how i do my makeup for my youtube videos in general or like my instagram photos um if it's like a really light look i do this i like to play around with shadows and at night time i definitely do a heavier smoky eye and i do like inner eyeliner and like under my eyes i smoke it out and just it's kind of completely different. So if you guys want to see my nighttime kind of makeup and going out makeup, then let me know and I will happily film that for you guys. If you like the haul as well at the start, the beauty haul, let me know. I I loved it. Just opening it up and just seeing all that new makeup just gets me so giddy. So um, yeah, that was really, really fun. I hope you guys had fun. And if you did, then please give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to me down below and press the bell button. 70% of my viewers actually aren't subscribed. Smart. so please join the persian bunny family i promise i don't bite i nibble like carrots like the persian bunny no i'm joking um don't forget to check out my socials my instagram is persian bunny and my snap is sepi samai i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye